Hello and welcome back to another video and today we have my one and only Sky Striker deck profile for the May 2020 Master Roll 5 format. So Sky Striker is a deck that has been around for about three years now and it has been on a huge roller coaster. Um, Konami first didn't touch it at all, then they banned Engage, um, hit Widow Anchor, hit Multi Roll, hit Drones, literally hit every single card in the deck but it doesn't matter because the deck is still so good right now and I definitely think that it's insanely insanely powerful so I'm gonna be showing you guys my take on the deck and before I get into anything I think that Ryan useless while like as plausible as it is I definitely think that going second is not the way with this deck Miles is a uh, going first variant and I definitely think it's much much better um before we get into the video remember to like comment and subscribe ring the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload an amazing Yu-Gi-Oh video and let's get right into it so first off for the hand traps you're running triple ash blossom and joyous spring and triple effect Valor. I think that these are the best hand traps um in this format for sure because Ash can stop Halky Firebacks and Valor can stop Link Cross. And on top of that, these um, are so good that I just feel like, um, yeah, they can just win you games and completely end opponent's turns. Definitely absolutely amazing cards. Mm -hmm. um, next up, we have for one of the best cards in the deck, of course, Triple Ray. No, Triple Ray, Triple Engage, but... <laughs> Um, Ray is absolutely broken. You would need to see it a lot of the time to win. And of course, it tags back in all the time. So it's absolutely amazing. Next up, we have double um, Sky Striker Ace Rose. Rose is also pretty good. It's another name, so it's okay. But you're only running two of it. It's not as good as Ray for sure. Ray is definitely better, but it is another target for Rhoda. So definitely something that you will be playing. Um, that is it for the monsters. In total, we're running three, six, nine, and 11 monsters. And then onto the spells, you're running double Cosmic Cyclone. Cosmic Cyclone is to actually out Eldlick. Eldlick is definitely a deck that has been going around a lot recently. And I definitely think that it's way too um, powerful. So Cosmic Cyclone definitely stops Eldlick um, phenomenally and amazing. Um, next up, we have Triple Mystic Mine. I have a lot of mixed feelings about this card, but in the end of the day, it's a good card. So I'm going to be playing it. Definitely comes amazing with set rotation, and I absolutely love it in this deck. I do not love the card let's get that very clear i hate the card i love it in the deck absolutely amazing next up we have double pot of desires um with engage gone you don't have anything that you really don't want to banish so pot of desires is really really good so definitely a good card to be running it's a plus two so why not next up we have one rota so reinforcements of the army to search you your sky striker ace ray and sky striker ace rose these are your normal summons so rota is definitely mandatory in the deck we also have one set rotation set rotation to set your field spells directly from the deck um to the field of course um which would be your area zero and your mystic mind definitely a very powerful card we have double um, Sky Striker Airspace Area Zero. Area Zero is absolutely broken. There's uh, you know the two card neat um, combination combo with uh, Ray. So you go like Airspace um, Area Zero Effect Target Ray Chain Ray. That way you don't actually have to do anything about Ray because Ray will link off and you're already targeted for cost of the Ray. So definitely very very good. Next up we are running double um, Sky Striker Maneuver Afterburners. Afterburners is amazing for monster removal and I think that in this format it's definitely good to bait out negations. We also have the one Sky Striker Mecha Hornet Jones. This card was amazing in Trickstar Striker, but sadly that deck is not a thing anymore. What am I saying? Sadly, that's amazing. But um, definitely an amazing, um, powerful card. Basically, you're running like six um, Sky Striker monsters in the deck, seven with Rhoda. So yeah, definitely very good. Next up, we have probably one of the best Sky Striker cards, uh, Triple Sky Striker Mecha Shark Cannon. Shark Cannon will banish your opponents. Uh, like, it will summon your opponents like... I don't even know to your field, absolutely broken. And the monster um, stays there for the rest of the duel, so it's absolutely amazing. I absolutely love the card. We have double um, Widow Anchor over here, Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor. This is also the reason why the deck is so good and oppressive. Um, it negates and effects, and then if you have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can take control of it. Absolutely broken, absolutely love the card. Mandatory in the deck, 100-100%. We have, and finally, the one Sky Sphere Mecha Modules Multi Roll. Multi Roll resets of your cards. Sadly, it used to reset Engage, but Engage is now banned. So, um, 
Yeah, that's pretty nice. Onto the traps, you have triple infinite impermanence for our ninth um, hand trap. So three ash, three veiler, triple imperm, imperm is not once per turn and neither is veiler. So I think that those two are also very, very powerful in that sense. I absolutely love imperm. And most of the time, if you set it in the middle column, that's where your opponent instinctively places their cards. So you can negate their cards that way too. So definitely broken. We have triple, um, there can be only one, not there can only be one, there can be only one. This card is a hell of a card, absolutely amazing, definitely broken. This card wins games and more. This card is so good. I absolutely love this card in this deck, like, it's absolutely broken. Because, like, if you notice, like, you have the machine and you have the warriors. But other than that, like, you don't actually go into anything. So there can be only one, doesn't really affect you at all, while your opponent they will like you know your opponent will start crying in front of you so definitely feel sorry for your opponent if you there can be only one of them but that's okay because you are running triple solemn judgment just to oppress our opponent even further um negates the summon negates a spell negates a trap nothing to hate about this card except the half of your life points but that's okay definitely worth for the payoff absolutely broken next up for our extra deck over here we have one access code talker definitely a broken card it's my favorite link for for the deck way better than brawl sword um in this deck specifically uh definitely absolutely amazing we have the one healthy firebox because of course ash and veiler are tuners so it can help you go into access code talker next up we have one heat up because ash once again is a fire and there are a lot of fires this format like jet synchron and of course slam angry so why not run a heat up? it's pretty nice we have one Celine, Queen of the Master Magicians. Um, yeah, there you have a lot of spellcasters, so it's kind of nice to have. You know, it comes up. We have triple Sky Striker Ace Hayate. Um, Hayate is absolutely broken. It attacks directly and then dumps your airspace from the deck. Oh, and also for Celine, yeah, the only spellcaster you have is Valor. But if you're summoning it, that means that you have Valor, so it's fine. Um. Yeah, so Hayate, and then we have triple Kagari. Kagari just went to three, so that is definitely very nice with Thumb Engage getting banned. Konami thought they can put it to three, and I understand why, but it's definitely still an absolutely broken card. Um, add ba It adds back um, a Sky Circus spell from your grave to your hand when it's summoned absolutely broken. Um, next up, we have one Sky Striker Ace Kaina. People forget that this card is a card, but you can cheese your opponent in time so much. Like, I literally one time played um, a 40 minute or a 30, 39 minute game one with this guy at my locals. And then, like, there are like five seconds on the clock. Four, three, on three, summons Kaina. Two, on one, activates engage, Kaina effect plus 100. And then, after, like, we we're both at 8,000 game one. 40 minute game one, and he wins by 100 life points. That it was one of my most cheesy wins of all time for sure. Uh, next up, we have triple of Sky Striker is Shizuku. Shizuku searches from deck to your hand, Sky Striker spell, so definitely mandatory for the consistency of the deck. I absolutely love Shizuku. Shizuku is absolutely amazing. Finally, we have this card actually Sky Striker Ace Zeke or Zeke or Z Zeke. I don't know. I'm just going to call it Zeke, but definitely this card came out of a dual overload, actually, and it's absolutely amazing because what you do is that you can actually use your um, Shark Cannon or your Widow Anchor to take your opponent's monster, and then you link with your opponent's monster and your Sky Strike monster into Zeke, and then Zeke can banish your opponent's monster for further removal, and on top of that, after you're done with that, you can just go into, like, a Hayate and go into Battle Phase because technically it's a non, like, wind or a non-fire or a non-earth uh, or a non you know water did i just take out a shizuku well we're putting shizuku back because shizuku is broken there we go and um yeah so that is it for the extra deck over here um for the side deck so you guys can run really whatever you guys want um i can recommend for this format specifically um nibiru uh wing dragon of ross fear mode of course, Dark Ruler No More is absolutely amazing against Adam Anspader. Go, 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 Adam Anspader. You know the rocks. Uh, speaking of the rocks, you know Nibiru, of course. Um, then we have uh, Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm will pop all of your opponent's spells and traps. Uh, spicy tech you guys can try is Royal Decree. Royal Decree is a card that will negate all of your opponent's trap cards. So definitely amazing against the Outlook matchup. Um, that is everything I can think of 
off of the top of my head. Oh, and of course, Evenly Match. Evenly Match is absolutely broken with the Lightning Storm. Evenly Match shot a two-card combo, you know? And yeah, that is it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace. Engage plus time back.